Alright lads, it's the Mega Goblin here and today I thought I'd just give you a little tiny um, insight in, into my channel by revealing exactly how I make my thumbnails. Now I've got a very good thumbnail for you today, it's a very inventive one and um, very unique. I haven't made a thumbnail like this before because it's going to be quite funny, well hopefully it'll be quite funny anyway. Um, basically the software I'm going to use today is the World Model Viewer to get the models um, and we're also going to use the wonderful Photoshop. Um, model Viewer at the moment is in alpha stage and it is buggy as shit and very very slow so you're going to have to excuse that. Now my idea this is going to be my gearing video, so I have the idea. Whenever you're making a thumbnail, always or a video, just have an idea in your head what it's going to be. So you can, just, you know, you always, always, always plan. So when you get to the actual making, you just fucking, you know, you breeze through it. Now, I mean, I was thinking about this last night when I was trying to get to sleep. Um, I'm going to get, um, basically, because it's a gearing video, I had the idea that I would have a, a, a naked model in front of a mirror, checking himself out, you know, deciding what to wear on a night out. I thought that'd be quite a funny idea. And just have the, um, have pieces of gear in the background and have the model looking in the mirror, like looking, you know, checking himself out. So, let's have, um, let's have, I don't know, let's have a human. I think a human's probably the best option. Uh, humans aren't bug diver. He looks decent enough. Now, I think I will have him butt naked. Yeah, I think a butt naked look might work. I don't know about having putting some pants on him, though. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to put some pants on him. Just, just pants, though. Um, what, what prideful... Prideful something. Dread plate. You know, make him look a bit like a DK. Right, that's probably enough. Now, I'm going to um, pause the video quickly because the skipping, choosing the hair takes fucking ages. So I've got exactly what I want chilling here. Um, I, I need to open in the desktop because for some reason it starts recording fraps. Now, what you do is you've got your animation box down here like I showed you and it's normally playing in continuously like this. What you do is click pause, get to the frame you want with this slider and that's pretty much it. I want him, you know, with his thumb out like that, checking himself out in the mirror and normally I cross these off but I don't think it'd be essential. Um, then you press F12 to take the screenshot, and then for some reason it switches off uh, into fraps. But that's gonna be a problem. I'll just reset the recording, and you save him, like whatever. I bet you can't even see. But there we go. So you save him, and then I'm gonna move on to a different model. Now the next model I want is obviously a table. I'm gonna press clear here. I'm going to try and find a table in the model view. I'm sure there will be a table somewhere. Here we go, we've got a few options. Table stone. Mm, that's not really what we're looking for. Well, actually, it might work. But really, we just want a normal table. Older man, it kind of looks a bit weird. But I might consider that. Well, anyway, I want it to look like a table that you'd have inside your home. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, Alchemy table. In table. That's more orcish though, isn't it? Yeah, because it says orc. Let's just find... Here we go, human. Ah, now this is what we're talking about. Yeah, that that uh, that is what we're, look, we're looking for there. Um, we'll have it about side on. I reckon about here. I reckon that'll probably just about do it. Or maybe, now. Nah, I think it'll have to be like this. Okay, you can take a screenshot of it as well. Let's save it. There we go. Now what I want to find is a mirror. Now this could be a little ambitious. Don't know if there's going to be a mirror in the model viewer, but we, you know it's it's worth trying. Mirror. I don't know what the hell that is. It's the uh, chopper mirror, isn't it? Barbershop mirror. That's perfect. It's kind of the quality is a little shit. Older mirror. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Well, I can. Uh, it's a bit, you know, girly, isn't it? Let's have a look at this. I don't even know what that is. It's like a pipe. Oh, Nixia Lair. Yeah, but it really looks like a mirror, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I don't see any other options other than the barber mirror. Mirror image. That's not. I reckon this or this. I'm not so sure. 
This looks just like a bit gay. It's, it's not something like you know a bloke could have in his room. I think we'll have it on a little bit of an angle, so you can actually see that it's a mirror, other than you know it's having that. And you obviously wants to be resting on the table, so when it can perfectly level. Right, and screenshot that. So once you've taken everything in the model viewer, you need to go and find it wherever the hell it may be. Um, sometimes it can be in a certain folder, sometimes it can be another one. I think I saved it into this folder. I'm not even sure where I have it installed. Um, I think it. Hang on. We'll, we will find it eventually. Model viewer, user settings, and there they are, the models. Okay, open them all, and we need to cut them out and put them on to a background. Now, a background I don't actually have yet. I'm thinking I need to go inside the game and take a screenshot of something. So I'm going to go and do that very quickly. All right, so I got a background and I got a few more models to work with here. So I'm going to teach you two methods to cut and cut things out and to you know put them on and, and uh, take them out. Um, first method is to use the magic wand tool. You click here, magic wand, click in the blue space like this, and you press delete. Um, problem is with this is obviously if it's still blue there, um, well, I, I can't get to that blue because the magic wand tool is absolutely shit. I mean, I could turn it down a bit. Maybe we might be lucky. There you go. I can get rid of that blue. But that is why I, I like using this um, other tool I'm going to show you with another piece. I'm going to put this into here and um, we'll work on that later let's work on this sword um, better method is to first of all turn it into a layer by double clicking there did I show you how to do that before? basically double click the padlock um, on the layer if it's a background layer turn it into a layer um, right what we're going to do is we're going to go to select and go to color range and all you do is you select the blue and then you press OK and then you press delete and it works a lot better ten times better and come on let me move the layer okay I don't know what's going on here this is why I hate Photoshop and software sometimes they just decide to uh, spit the dummy out hang on a sec unfortunately Fraps decided to be a useless piece of cunt software as usual so it recorded my Battle.net app instead of recording my desktop which is extremely helpful so I just went through an entire video uh, showing how I edit my thumbnail and it didn't show it so what I'm going to do um, very quickly is just go through what I've done here is the final image here chilling um, what I've done is I've put all the um, layers onto this layer just by clicking and dragging like this just click and drag put it on there there you go there it is I uh, you know just adjusted the size to make it a little less cluttered now what I've done uh, to the background is I've added a bit more saturation here are the adjustments here All right, if you want to adjust every layer equally you put the the effect on the top like this I'm gonna just delete it just to show you how it's done and you know you just click at the top and you just adjust the contrast like this and I adjust the brightness a bit up like that just to make it give it a bit more of a cinematic feel and um, but if you want to um, adjust a layer on its own say for instance you want to adjust the background just move the effect below the background and just piss around like this actually it's not gonna work maybe it does need to be above yeah it does need to be above I'm just talking shit there we go um, click it and then it should just adjust the background on its own because it's not above the other layers it should just adjust that one layer and that's how Photoshop works basically so I'm going to delete them too there we go now I'll talk about how I got my text in right click the text layer and go to blending options and you're going to go to gradient overlay I'm going to just start again actually um, I'm going to click it in and you go to here and here you basically just mess around with the color you want and stuff like that. I'm going to have a turquoise into a darker turquoise like this okay okay and you've got your outer glow effects here and you've got a stroke here and um, what that does is do is that you just click the stroke on and you adjust it to where it's right. I think it's about right there. And that's how you adjust the text. Um, I think that stroke needs to be adjusted actually. I think I've messed it up. I think it just needs to be increased a tiny bit. There we go. That looks fine. 
And that's how I make my text. That is that's pretty much it. I mean, it's looking decent, decent thumbnail. It's not my best thumbnail out there, but it's definitely a good one to show for a tutorial because there's a lot going on in this thumbnail. Um, obviously, the mirror is a bit. It looks a bit crap there. Um, there isn't really a way to fix that. Where is the mirror? Because it obviously doesn't rest very well on the uh, table. There isn't really anything I can do about that. Um, I could have just put it there, maybe. I don't know. Now it looks even worse. But um, yeah, be careful about that. Um, but there you go. I, I, I thought I'd just quickly show you a video of uh, how I make my uh, thumbnails. I think soon I'll start doing videos uh, maybe about my editing, stuff like that. That's it for me, guys. Ciao. Nothing changes inside of me I'm tiredly pushing the limit